What's a pointer? A pointer is a variable which stores a memory address for its value. So over here, I wrote out a nice little example of this. I drew out a diagram of memory, super simplified, but this is sort of what it would look like at the bare level. And here I have 0x23, 0x25. Those are the two slots we're going to be looking at. Within one of them, I have 23. And within the other, I have a reference. I have the memory address of 0x25. So when I'm actually assigning my variables over here, I'm creating y to be equal to 23, and that's going to be stored right here in 0x25. And then here with x, I'm setting x equal to 0x25, and I'm generating that by using the AND operator to generate a pointer to y. So now x is a pointer to y, and what I can do down here is do a few operations to show you how this actually works. So when we do, when we just print out y, y is going to be equal to 23. We try and dereference y, and what the star operator is, is this is the dereference. This will allow us to follow our pointer to actually figure out what the underlying reference is, but in this case, it's going to be an error because this is just a value, not a not a memory address. And then we have, if we do and y, and y is going to generate that pointer. So that will generate the memory address, which will allow us to create a pointer to y or to some other variable. If we want to do the same thing with x, we can. If we do and x, that's going to generate a reference to 0x23, which will allow us to create a pointer to a pointer. So you can chain pointers on and on. You can have double, triple, quadruple pointers, however you want to do it. It gets really obnoxious really quickly. And in Go, you really don't need to do that, but something to know. Then finally, over here in this diagram, we have x is equal to 0x25, because of course the underlying value here is a memory address. Then if we dereference x, we're going to get 23 because we follow 0x25 up to here. Then we get 23 out. And then of course, we just get a reference. Then of course, the AND operator will generate a reference to x, which is 0x23. Finally, I want to show you the actual practical application for this. Pointers are much less obnoxious and hard to deal with in Go than they are in a lot of other languages, and that's because there's no pointer arithmetic. In other languages, I could do y plus 1. I could do like dereference y plus 1, and that would get me 0x26, or y minus 1 and 0x24. It gets really, really crazy in there, and a lot of really complicated stuff, and that's why a lot of people don't like pointers. But in Go, it's basically just passing by reference or passing by value. So we look at this function over here. I have a value, I have an integer, a, which I'm assigning to zero up here, then I'm passing it into this no pointer function, which just means I'm passing it into a function as an integer, and that will create a copy. So within this function, I have a copy of A, but I'm not actually messing with the original A itself. So when I go ahead and I print out A after calling this function, even though I reassigned it in here, it's not actually being assigned because it's generating a new value over here in memory. Versus if I do it with pointer, if I get a reference to A, I'm instead passing in a variable which is a reference to A, and it's going to use that reference. If I use the pointer A equals one, that will now be that will now change the underlying value of the original A to be one. So if you want to actually update the actual value of a pointer, you got to dereference it and set it. So you can set a pointer by dereferencing and setting it equal for like over here. And then you can also get the underlying value by dereferencing it like that. And if you want to get the address of some other value and turn it into a pointer, you can get the per, uh, the and a. So like right here, I'm getting the pointer like this, just like we did over here. And that's about it. It's very simple. This is just a nice little introduction to pointers to give you a good idea of how these work. Again, really all you need to worry about is just use them for passing by value or passing by reference. In Go, it doesn't get nearly as crazy as it does in other languages.